Hello, David Toller here with Supplemental Seminary. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about that awesome audio is not by accident. I've had some comments this week. Some people say, wow, you sound awesome. What are you doing? And then I've had others this week that have asked me to recommend microphones. And so I want to talk to you about that and show you in order to have awesome audio, you got to realize that it doesn't happen by accident. You're not just going to set up a, a microphone or set up a system and then all of a sudden right out of the box, it's just going to sound great. All right. So you got to be intentional about that. There's a lot of factors that go into even me making YouTube videos. There's a, there's a lot of elements. You say, well, you're just here wearing a t-shirt. You look relaxed in your uh, front room. You've made a studio in your home but you don't see everything else that's went into this. So you're going to have to be intentional about it to get awesome audio. Number two, get the right gear. Get the right gear. All right, you're going to have to find out exactly what will work best for your situation. If you was to ask me, I'm and you was to say, I'm going to start a YouTube channel at my church, you know, I want to be able to make videos on the side, devotional videos. If you said I wanted to start a podcast and you was to ask me, do I need to invest in an additional microphone of some kind to enhance my audio? My answer is always going to be yes. Always going to be yes. But because audio is so important, I cannot overemphasize how important audio is when it comes to live streams, when it comes to making videos, when it comes to podcasts, when it comes to your church and your business. Audio is so important. But you don't have to spend a whole lot. You don't necessarily need all the gear that, that I have. All right, I enjoy this. This is a side hobby of mine. So I don't expect you to get and geek out on all this stuff like I do, but you don't have to spend a whole lot to have, but in order to have awesome audio, you're going to have to invest in something. Okay. So people ask me all the time, they say, what mic or what setup should I get? And my answer is always, well, it, it really depends. Okay. It depends on your situation. So I'm going to give you a couple of questions that you need to answer in order to best serve your needs and to see what would be best for your situation. The first question I'm going to ask a person is what camera are you using? Now you may not even be using a camera. If you're doing a podcast, a voiceover, you may say, I'm not even going to be using a camera. I'm just want good audio. Well, that would be a determining factor. And then you say, well, I'm going to use my smartphone, whether it be your iPhone, LG's Samsung device, which is very good quality video. You already have a camera right here that you could use. All you need to do is enhance the audio and you'll be good to go. You may say, well, I'm going to use a GoPro. That's a good quality, uh, durable choice. There, you could use that. Shoots in 4K. I think this is the Go. This is the Hero 7 GoPro. Good quality there. Do I need to invest in audio? Yes, is the answer to that. Do I need to invest in audio here? The answer is yes. Whether you're using, as I'm recording this video now, a DSLR camera or a camcorder, whatever that is, that is a factor. What's compatible with that and what's your best option? Here's another question. Do you want a microphone that is wired, that has a wire, okay? Or you, do you want a wireless solution like I have over here? Let me grab that real quick. And I got this yesterday, an awesome audio wireless solution, which is the Rode Wireless Go, okay? Haven't had a chance to open this yet. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a good, if somebody asked me yesterday, what is the best, the best, all right, not the cheapest, but the best uh, wireless system that you can hook to your smartphone, iPhone, that you can hook to the GoPro or the DSLR camera. If you ask me what's the best, not the cheapest, I'm going to say the Rode Wireless Go right here. 
Okay, it comes with good reviews. Road, I love their products, good quality products. So you got to ask yourself, do I want a wired mic? Okay, do I want a wireless? That comes into fact, into uh, consideration. Will you be standing or will you be sitting down? That's a good question. I enjoy doing my videos in this setting where I'm sitting down. Okay, later I may invest in a standing desk so I can stand up at times. That's a factor. Next, do you want the microphone to be visible in the shot? So see, what I've done here is I have my microphone in the shot, and I like that. But some people don't like that. So that's something that you have to think about. Do you want it to be out of the shot? Because if you do, then like what I'm using here, a dynamic microphone is not going to be the best choice for you. Do you want it hidden? Do you want it in the shot? Do you think it's in the way? Do you think it's a distraction? That would be a factor as well. So do you want it visible? That's a question I'd ask. Next, do you have a sound-treated space? So important. See, back here on my wall and in front of me, I have some audio treatment. Treatment. I also have three kids in the house, and they're clanging dishes and slamming the microwave door and everything else. And so that is going to be important because that would help me decide for you whether you need a dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone, whether or not you have a treated space, do you have a quiet space that you can record? So important. You put on the headphones, especially these Sonys that I have, and you can hear absolutely everything. You can hear birds chirping outside the windows. So, and then another question would be, are you going to record inside or outside? Okay, these are things that I would ask you concerning your solution for audio. All right, I'm going to give you some uh, recommendations now. I'm going to give you some recommendations. Uh, be sure to see the description below here for, uh, for all the gear mentioned in this video as well as my personal setup. YouTube setup will be down there as well. All the things I'm getting ready to mention will be in the description. Be sure to check that out. If you haven't already, would you hit the like button and consider subscribing in order to keep up with me for future videos on church audio, video, live streams, websites, and all other tech-related content. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Number one, if you're looking for a lavalier microphone, you know, one that clips here on your shirt or your lapel or whatever that can be hidden or not hidden, if you're looking for a good wired solution, you don't mind the wire, which can be good or bad, okay? It'll always be powered. You won't have to charge it like these. this road system here that's wireless going to have to be charged. Then there is a solution called the Boya BY-M1. It's an omnidirectional condenser microphone for about $20 on Amazon. Of course, link in the description below. I'd also recommend the Power DeWise Lavalier. Now, I'm a little disappointed by this because of the crisis that we're in right now with the you know, prices being raised and so forth. Then this, I used to get these for 20 bucks, but now it's went up to $40. So I would really look at that first solution, the Boya BY-M1 omnidirectional mic for $20 for what you're using it for. It'd do you a great job. Comes with good reviews. And by the way, I'm not going to mention anything in this video that I wouldn't order myself or have tried myself. Okay. Next, if you're looking for wireless solutions, I've got a couple affordable options in there ranging from $35 in the description, $35, $52, $60. And again, if you're going to get up here to the Rode Wireless Go, I mean, you're getting into $200, okay, $200. But you get what you pay for like anything else. And the reason I got that is because it's compatible with my DSLR camera, GoPro, and smartphone. So, but if I would just had my smartphone, I'd probably... More than likely, well, I don't know. Maybe went with something else. Who knows? Next, let's get into USB microphones. And by USB, I mean they plug directly into your computer. They do not need an audio interface. USB microphones. 
Now, two, I'm going to recommend if you want a dynamic microphone. Now, let me explain the difference between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone. I have an example of each here in front of me, and I do have a video that I will link that I went over the, the difference between a dynamic and a condenser microphone. Right now, I am speaking into the Rode. This is the Rode Procaster, okay? And it is a dynamic microphone. It's an end address microphone, so I speak into the end of it. It has a cardioid polar pattern, meaning it's going to pick up only what is directly in front of the microphone. So I got to speak into this. If I back off this microphone, because it is a dynamic microphone, it is not designed to be far away from your mouth. So you can see as I draw it away from my mouth, I'm losing, I'm losing the volume there. So I'm a, a dynamic microphone, you have to keep to your mouth and speak into it. This over here is the Rode NT1. I don't have it on right now, but it is a condenser microphone. I don't have to be as close to that one. A condenser microphone is going to pick up absolutely everything. So if my kids, if I was on this mic and the kids in the other room had the TV turned up or, you know, they're throwing toys around or it, it's going to pick up the, it's going to pick up everything in the home. It's going to pick up a lawnmower outside, which is good and bad depending on your situation. So if you don't have a good treated room with audio treatment or if you've got a lot of background noise, I'm going to say go with a dynamic microphone. You can see those in the description below. USB mics, the Audio-Technica ATR 2100X USB cardioid dynamic microphone, and then the Samson Q2U USB and XLR. So see, these two are great and wonderful choices because they are dynamic microphone. They're going to run you the Samson Q2U about $60, $70. Audio-Technica ATR2100 about $100. But they both have that you can hook up USB. So if you're just starting out, you can plug it directly in your computer. Later, you want to upgrade and get an audio interface like this. Then you can hook up there XLR. So they're versatile in the fact that they will go with you through your audio journey. You can start out with those. Like I said, Samson Q2U, $60, $70. Audio-Technica ATR2100X, about $100. Now let's talk about condenser microphones. This one I had a while back, I ended up selling it. It wasn't because I didn't really like it. It just didn't work for my situation. And that's the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti, very popular on YouTube. It's, it's pretty neat because it's got four settings that you can change, you know, omnidirectional, you know, cardioid pattern. All right, you can interview with it, have somebody on the other side. But it is a condenser microphone. I was using it in my basement. I mean, it was picking up if the dishwasher was draining, you could hear the water running through the pipes. You know, you could hear the air conditioner. So that's one of the downsides to a condenser microphone that you're going to hear absolutely everything. So the Blue Yeti, I would recommend good quality. You can put it on a boom arm like this. You can set it in front of your desk. It can be in or out of the shot, very versatile, about $120, $130 there. I also would recommend the Rode, any type of Rode products. I love Rode products. They're good quality, high-quality products, work great, uh, something you really feel like you know, you got something substantial that you're holding, something valuable. It would be the Rode NT USB. All right, this could be a cardioid condenser microphone. Run you about two hundred dollars if you're just looking in the USB realm. There. Now let's get to XLR microphones. XLR are the three prongs that you have here that I'm speaking into right now. Let's talk about dynamic microphones. I want to mention that you will need an audio interface for these, which in the description I have some that I recommend that you can get an audio interface. And the audio interface takes XLR, your, your XLR microphone, and the hookup to the audio interface, then USB to your computer. Okay. So you have, you need audio interface to so see the recommendations below. Dynamic microphone. I would go, again, see that went with you, as I mentioned before, the Audio-Technica ATR2100X USB. 
but also XLR. Okay, so now you can upgrade there. Again, the Samson Q2U, you can use that. If you really want to get into some uh, other microphones, the Shure, you can't go wrong here. Good, durable, it stood the test of time. The Shure SM58, all right, that's a dynamic microphone. You've seen these, a vocal microphone. Then you have the SM57. That If I had the choice between the two, I'd get the SM58. The SM57, I guess for the looks and for the, I mean, it's, it is a dynamic microphone, but then too, it's really used for instruments. I mean, but you may have one at your church sitting in a drawer somewhere is the reason I put these in here. You may have one you upgraded at your church or you could borrow, you know, and you could use it. So an SM58, an SM57, I'd recommend the, the Rode pod mic. That is a dynamic microphone by Rode. I would watch more reviews on it to see about, you know, picking up semblance, those S's, and uh, picking up a lot of that, I noticed. So I, I would recommend you do your homework on the Rode pod mic. But then again, it's a dynamic microphone. It's it's about a miniature, one of these. And, you know, it's small. Some people like it because of that. It doesn't sound as good as the Rode Procaster I'm speaking into right now, in my opinion. But it's $99. Right now, if you won't sound like I'm having right now, this is the Rode Procaster. It's a dynamic broadcast microphone. Run you about $230 just for the microphone on Amazon. But if you use it, you, I want to recommend that you get a cloud lifter, and that is so you can boost the signal on these dynamic microphones. This is a cloud lifter. Let me explain what this is. You have the the dynamic microphone, a dynamic microphone, especially this one is very gain hungry. It is very passive. It doesn't have, it doesn't give out a lot. It doesn't have a lot of oomph and power, if you will. So you have to go to the cloud lifter because when I first got this microphone, I thought, man, this thing's a dud, but I had to get a cloud lifter here in order to boost this microphone by 25 decibels. All right. It's very gain hungry. takes a lot to really drive it home and so forth. So you got to have a cloud lifter. Again, if you go with the old, the industry standard for radio, you, you're talking about the Shure SM7B dynamic microphone, very popular on YouTube, very popular when it comes to radio. That's a $400 microphone, very expensive. $400 just for the microphone, do you hear me? And then you still got to get a cloud lifter because that is a very passive gain hungry microphone as well, which is great because you say, well, it's, it's a very quiet microphone, which is good in a way because it's not going to pick up a lot of background noise. So you say, why would I want that? That's a dud. No, it's not a dud. It's just made different. You know, things that are different are not the same. So there are some benefits to that. So you got the Rode Procast, you got the Shure SMB, cardioid dynamic microphone. We talked about the cloud lifter. Again, if you're looking for a condenser microphone that's XLR, I'd recommend the Audio Technica AT2020, $99 XLR microphone. has a, a great tone. I haven't owned this personally, but I've heard other people review it, and I think it sounds great. $99 Audio Technica AT2020. Links in the description. Then there's the Stellar X2 large diaphragm um, cardioid condenser microphone. I actually have one of those right here. I did. They don't sell these on Amazon, this particular one. This is the vintage model. So if you do would go with Tech Zone Audio, Tech Zone Audio right here, Audio Products, the Stellar, go with the vintage. Get the vintage. I think you, I had to get this from the actual website. Get the vintage model. I think it's much better. And very, of course, you're going to pay more for it. The regular one's about two hundred dollars. The vintage model will cost you around two hundred fifty. Now, if you don't want to go wrong with a condenser XLR mi microphone that you can keep, hey, the the reviews are excellent everywhere you go. Then you want to go with this microphone, which is the Rode NT1. Again, not the Rode NT1A. I would not suggest that. That's the anniversary edition. Get the regular 
Rode NT1, great condenser, microphone, run you about $260, comes with this Rycote shock mount, okay, here, and the pop filter are on both uh, two-sided there. Great, good, you know, good quality, can't go wrong there. I haven't regretted it. Audio interfaces, I have the Behringer audio interface. It's about $105 now. A couple of years ago, it was running $30. I, I wouldn't get that. I'd get the focus right. I did put that in the links in the description, but I wouldn't personally buy it. Some people ask about it, so I put it in there. But I'd get the focus right Scarlett Solo third gen USB audio interface, about $110. So what you get a Behringer for, don't waste your money. Get a focus right. Or go with the, the Motu uh, M2 and about $170. You can't go wrong there. Or if you want the ultimate setup, if you want to know how I sound like I do right now, it, of course, it's intentional and it didn't have my accident, then you're going to want to speak into right now. You are hearing the audio from the Rode Procaster. Okay, Rode Procaster going into the Rode Caster Pro. All right, with the effects on here, and I'm doing real time audio processing right now. Nothing in post, nothing extra. I got a compressor going, I got a DSer going, high pass filter, aural exciter. I've got the big bottom going on right now. I have all that put in here. I will not have to do anything. We're doing this on the fly in real time. If you want to sound like this, go with this setup. I've had so many comments about this microphone. I love this microphone. If I was broke, I'd probably sell the rest of them first <laughs> because, listen, this is the Rode Pro Procaster going into the Rode Caster Pro. That's confusing, isn't it? Into my computer recording with OBS, and I'm getting great sound and audio. So trust that helped you. Kind of a long video, a lot of recommendations. Wanted to talk about it and remind you that awesome audio doesn't come by accident. you got to be intentional about it. you got to learn about your microphone. You've got to learn about audio. What's the difference between the two? How to speak into them? Is it an end address or a side address? What kind of pattern, polar pattern does it have? Does it require phantom power? We'll go through all this. I'll help you. If you need help and you want me to recommend something, leave me a comment below. If this helped you or you want to share it with somebody else, I'd greatly appreciate it. And before you leave, would you consider subscribing, liking the video, leave me a comment. If you need help, hey, I'd be glad to talk with you and recommend for your situation, whether it be you say, I got a small budget, I can help you with that too. You say a lot of these out of my range. I just need something to get by. There's other options. This is not an exhaustive. These are just ones that I think are good quality microphones. There's a lot of other ones out there. Hey, good affordable ones. But get your audio right. Learn about that. Let me help you. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll be glad to work with you on the audio so you can sound awesome. All right, until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>